Hey, what's going on guys? Kel Mark with TheEasiestBusiness.com. Today I want to talk to you about something that's an important topic, but it's not a super complicated topic. Uh, if you're in commercial painting, you'll see from the title of this video, we're talking about change orders. So change orders can be kind of scary if you don't know what you're doing or you've never dealt with them before. So hopefully I'll break this down into a little bit of a more simpler, uh, you know, most common denominator or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. So change orders, um, basically change orders are like, uh, any extra work, any, any change, I guess, any change in scope. So there any change in scope to the original contract. That's what a change order is. An addendum, if you will. So a change order is just a change in scope to the original contract. Um, I changed what I said a minute ago about it being extra work because technically that would fall under uh, the category of an extra work ticket. Um, but today we're talking about change orders. So it's just an addendum to the contract which changes the scope which may impact um, price. So if the original contract says paint these 10 rooms, um, just walls, and the GC comes back and emails and says, look, we actually just need you um, to paint eight rooms and we need to add trim. So there's gonna be a difference here in price, 10 rooms versus eight rooms, um, walls. You get the picture. 10 rooms or just walls. He comes back and says, well, actually we just need these eight rooms painted walls, but then we also need to add the trim in there. So you would basically deduct your cost for just walls for two rooms, and then you would add your cost for your trim, have the difference, and that would be your change order. So how do you handle it? Uh, the first thing you do is get everything in writing. Get everything in writing. You need proof. So if he calls you and say, hey, I need you to do this or do that, say, hey man, can you shoot me an email with that information? I don't want to forget, or you know, I just want to make sure uh, that we're on the same page. So email me everything that you need done. Be very specific. Just shoot me an email. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So you have all that in writing. Um, and then what you do, you do your um, deductions or your additions. You do your deductions or additions. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on a form, a change order form. Usually this form is gonna be, the way I do it is it's the same form that I use for proposal. So if I send a proposal off for a bid, I take that same form at the top where it says proposal, um, to, and then work to be completed and all that stuff. That's kind of what my form looks like. You can get a copy of that by going to my website, theeasiestbusiness.com and slash free downloadable proposal template. You'll see a link for it there. Uh, on the website and when I get the new website built you'll actually be able to download it directly from the site without even uh, me having to respond right now I'm having to manually manually respond to everything so it's kind of a kind of a hassle but I just take my proposal form I take away the words proposal and then I put change order one and so um, change order one co1 co2 etc so you name them like this because sometimes on the big jobs, you'll have 10, 15, 20 change orders. Hopefully not, that becomes a hassle. But um, you wanna put them on that same proposal form, you just wanna rename the form, basically keep it looking the exact same, rename it to change order one, two, three. You always wanna save a copy, email a copy over to them. You wanna download the email where you sent it or where they received it, keep that in your files. Um, and then a lot of times they'll either accept it immediately, they'll say this is accepted, please move forward with the work, and you'll need a copy of that as well. Um, just for your record in case there's ever an issue later down the road with payment. Um, sometimes there will be an issue with the charges. They'll say, hey man, that's a lot, you know, blah, blah, blah. But that's when, that's when more of the negotiation phase comes into play. So what I will say on change orders, you're already on the site doing the work. Excuse me. You can usually add a premium higher than your average profit margins. You know, you can put another 15 to 25% usually on the change orders because you're already on site. They're not gonna 
take that extra work and sub it out to another contractor if you're already there doing the work, you're doing a good job. They're gonna want you to do it, you're already mobilized on site. Add a little extra markup in there. Um, don't go too crazy, you don't want them to think you're scumbags, you don't want them to think you're trying to take advantage of them, but get a little bit of extra dollars for inconvenience because maybe you had this uh, construction schedule that was for three weeks and this extra work or this change order is gonna, is gonna extend you to four, five, six weeks and you got other jobs lined up behind that you need to make your money um, for inconveniencing your schedule, especially if they need you now, especially if you gotta reschedule other jobs, uh, you got liquidated damages on other jobs and you gotta move people or move crews around, whatever have you, you need to add a premium in uh, for having to do either change orders or extra work tickets. And extra work tickets are basically gonna fall under the same kind of category, the same scope as change orders. Um, they're just gonna be called extra work. So this is, there's not a change to the original contract as far as the scope goes, but we just need you to do more work on top of that, you know. Um, a change order is actually just a change in the original contract. It's basically just an addendum to the contract. Um, but it's not like, you know, sometimes they come out with new plans or whatever, you have to go back and compare the plans. Um, if you did a site visit, a walkthrough for the bid, you may have to do another walkthrough you know, things like that. So you wanna charge a premium for it. You don't wanna to go too crazy though because you don't wanna get a bad reputation where you try to gouge people on change orders. But that's basically it. That's the gist of a change order. It's held exactly uh, in my eyes. It, it's exactly like a normal bid, except you may just go back and have to fill out another form um, with change order on it and just specify that specific work. You know, on my, on my form, I would say something like change order, add, trim at all at eight rooms subtract two rooms rooms a101 a102 whatever they are on the drawings per email dated and then have the date for the email wherever he sent it to you um and then have your total you know show your minus if there is any show your addition if there is any show your total change whether it be negative or positive uh send it off to them they'll approve it deny it negotiate with you whatever they do and then they'll kind of give you a timeline on when you can start on that. So change orders aren't very hard. They're basically like doing a like doing an additional bid, um, but it's just something you work out between you and the GC. But make sure you always get your money's worth. Don't give your labor away at a discount. That's what you don't want to do because every job you do for that GC moving forward, they'll expect you to do everything at a discount. Don't cut your own throat in this business. So let me know what you thought. Um, how do you feel about change orders? Uh, you know, leave me a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, and I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks.